What's up guys? Got a little tip for you, really short, quick video here. Um, people were talking about and asking how you find the angle on a set of stairs to make a handrail. Uh, this is the only set of steps we've got here at the shop, so figured it was really easy to show you on this, uh, something kind of short. Uh, a lot of times when you're starting out, you're gonna get rails like this, just a little access rail to a door, set of steps going into a house, something small. I did a ton of these when we first started, um, you know, the welding fabrication business. And um, so the way you do it, you can figure the rise and run and do your geometry and figure your triangle and get your angle that way. Or you can get yourself one of these uh, digital, uh, digital um, protractors. And basically it's a torpedo level with a protractor in it and it will give you the angle. I think this one actually tells you the temperature too. So uh, very easy, it's about 10 inches long. Very lightweight, comes with a little bag. I got it from Home Depot, 25 or 30 bucks, I think. Um, and it runs off batteries and uh, works really well. Um, I think you can actually press a hold button. It'll actually hold angles for you, different stuff. I use it just for finding angles, that's it. But what you do need, um, you know, you can't span this distance and get that angle. So what I do is I'll keep just a, a, a short two by four, or this is just a two by two, anything. All you wanna do is get from this point of this step to that point of that step. And that's not gonna change. So if I lay it all the way down, I'm touching all three steps. But if you've got two steps, you can do the same thing. So you turn it on, you got that touching both steps, and you put it on there, and it's gonna tell me exactly what that angle is. So right now, I'm 32.2 degrees. Now, I'll tell you a little tip. On something really short like this, you can get off on your angle a little bit and it's okay. So if you wanted to build this at 30 degrees or you got off and you're 30 degrees, that's okay. You'll never know the difference. 32, you could be 34, a couple degrees either way. Now what's gonna happen, like what we build here a lot of, um, our rails are 235 inches long um, for our long ones and then about 120, 119, 120, for our switchbacks on uh, these, these apartments that we're doing. So that's where you run into a problem. If you get off two degrees at, at one end, go 235 inches, it's gonna multiply and you're gonna be way off at the other end. It really has a, a drastic uh, effect when you, when you start to get out longer. But now if you're just building a little 30 inch rail for something like this, you know, you're okay. You can be a couple degrees off and, and still be okay. I mean, you want it to be, you know, close and accurate uh, it's a very good time to practice and learn. Like I said, we did a ton of these when we first started. But um, just want to show you that's an easy way to do it. You can get longer ones of these, but you know, just keep you. You, you can use a board, a, a piece of one inch square tubing, something you know short. I mean, it's got this is a little long. You could really have a piece, uh, maybe 16 or 18 inches. You know, something that easy fits in a toolbox or something in a pickup truck. Put that on there, and um, you get your angle, and then you can build from there. So. There you go, guys. That's what it looks like, 32 degrees. And that's actually a very common dimension or angle for uh, stairs. So I uh, hope this helps. If you got any questions, feel free to comment or email. And we'll see you on the next video.